Hey, Survivor fans, this is Chad with another episode review of Survivor South Pacific, episode 13. Um, coming off last week, they automatically go into the night vision of Redemption Island with Cochran. Going to uh, Redemption Island to meet Ozzy, and I thought there was going to be a uh, kind of a uh, argument, but there wasn't. And it was kind of like... Cochran asking Ozzy if he thinks he can beat him in the duel, and Ozzy says, well, you might have a chance, and then they fight down at the cameras. Ozzy by himself, he says he doesn't have a chance. But I'll get into that duel a little bit later. Uh, they go back into uh, the Tatuna tribe, which I still think is a ridiculous tribe name. I think that probably ranks as the most ridiculous tribe name ever, but uh, that's just my opinion. Um, and Edna has a big blow up saying that she thinks Brandon should go first, and She's pleading with Coach to keep her on, and it's just like she has a meltdown. She put on her business suit. It, it was just, I, I never really liked Edna. I don't know why. She was just always really irritating to me. I don't know. It's just something about her that hurts me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too judgmental. I don't know, but that's what it is. Uh, well, then we go to the uh, epic duel between the uh, nerd and the dominator, as uh, CBS uh, previewed it, and, uh, at first, Ozzy has quite a lead. Uh, they had grappling hooks, and he had to uh, grapple the hooks uh, into these uh, little bags of balls, and then he had to do a uh, table maze with them. And Ozzy had the lead for quite some time, then Cochran caught up to him, and it was neck to neck from there. And it came down to the last second Ozzy pulled it off. Wow, I don't know. I would have been flabbergasted if uh, Cochran pulled it off, but he didn't. But it was really close, and it was kind of exciting. So, so Cochran's done. Um, I have mixed emotions about that. I don't like the fact that he flipped on his tribe. I thought that was the dumbest move in Survivor history. I think that's what made that led him to be unanimously voted out by the Opolo tribe, who he felt used him, and he should have never flipped him first place, so I, I guess you reap what you sow on that one, but, you know, at the same time, he was an interesting character, so I kind of had mixed emotions about it, but still, he's gone, and uh, I actually had a chance to see the Ponderosa videos to where he uh, he uh, met up with his old former tribe mates, and it wasn't, it was icy, but it wasn't as vicious as I thought it would be, so you might want to check that out, but it definitely was not a warm welcome, and that's what, you know, he kind of deserved that. So, um, but then they get back to the, uh, oh, after Redemption, I was almost totally, was going to, you know, they, uh, the, it's a uh, family, it's a family episode where they reunite with their old ones, and uh, Rick had his wife, he was, they, um, they went back to camp, and they had this uh, Sprint Evo, which, pretty cool little gadget, where they talked to their, lo or their loved ones had messages for them, and you could see them all teary-eyed. And after the, uh, which, you know, I hear a lot of criticism about these uh, loved one episodes, and a lot of people don't like them, and I don't understand why, because it kind of, it's kind of like a, after all the backstabbing and all the lying and cheating, you know, it's good to see an episode where you can see some very good emotions and some happy tears, you know. So that's my opinion of the uh, loved one episodes. So, you know, I mean, that's my opinion, you know, take it for this. But they, they saw their loved ones send them messages, and, you know, I always like seeing episodes like this. So, you know, it seems that everybody, you know, shed a tear, and, you know, you know good feelings, you know. But um, at the end of the uh, Redemption Island duel, Ozzy won. He was able to pick three uh, members of the two tuna tribe to spend with their loved ones. I believe Coach... Uh, Brandon, and who was the other? I forgot who the other one was. And Al, what was it, Albert? Albert, yeah. Um, so, the, but the main one was uh, Brandon's dad, who kind of stirred things up with Coach, saying, hey, keep my son on if you're a Christian man and all this. And Coach saw it was, uh, Coach said something, uh, he's a hands there, the, uh, Masters of manipulation, their hands, and uh, I, I wouldn't see it as boy. I think it was more of a pleading deal, but you know that's what it is. And they stirred things up, and him and Brandon and his dad kind of got into it a little bit, saying that Brandon's dad saying he should be.
be out to win it uh, at this point for the million dollars and Brandon saying no I'm just here to prove something or prove my name or something which I kind of I kind of like Brandon at that point because you know he he you know I still don't agree with how he treated Michaela him or coach but that was the first time I actually agreed with Brandon on something you know and you know it doesn't uh, to me um, it showed a different hand side not like his uncle but you know, we'll see what happens with Brandon from here on out. So, you know, I mean, that's that's one good point I wanted to bring up, you know. So, excuse me. Um, so we got into the immunity challenge, and it was a puzzle thing where it looked like a big pineapple po puzzle, and it was like basically try to outmaneuver the other person. And uh, Coach won this one. And uh, keep in mind, Coach still has the hidden immunity idol, and he's got... And he won this challenge. I don't see him. I see him. Don't see him. I see him going to the final three for sure. Him and Sophie. So we go to tribal council, and uh, Edna gets voted out. And uh, and based on the preview of next week, uh, it's not looking good for Aussie fans. Of course, you know how they do with the editing. And the editing tends to trick us. But uh, I saw it on my own. Oh no! But uh, you know, oh, it was a very, very good episode. You know, especially like I said earlier, it was a loved one episode. I always like those because of the emotion. You know, the good emotions, not typical backstabbing, lying, turncoat stuff. So it was a good episode. So uh, shoot me on Twitter, Chad and K One, or Facebook. You know, whatever, or email me through here, like some people have. So all right, I'll see you. Peace out.